Hi there guys and girls, Jean on post, bringing you more Mars Anomalies, looking at some souls from Curiosity Rover, namely 710 and 1267. You might be familiar with those. So just for a scale reference, we're looking at a high-rise photograph here, taken at 25 centimeters per pixel resolution of the Curiosity Rover right there. A couple of weeks ago and uh, as you can see it's rather small so once again the anomalies we're checking out in these two soles snapped by the curiosity rover are too small to show up in any high-rise photographs he has a color high-rise photograph indicating the position of the curiosity rover on sol 710 and it's in this little valley called hidden valley there's the path or the traverse and uh, we weigh down here Sol 710 and uh, move the inset from behind me and you can see it's in a uh, hidden valley right there and you can use the scale indicator yet to give you a rough idea how large these anomalies are that we'll be looking at and I guesstimate they less than a meter across, maybe even a half a meter. I doubt they're bigger than that, but uh, we can't say for sure. Very difficult to tell how far these anomalies are from the rover. And uh, this is the one that you all might be familiar with. And uh, it's of this strange orange creature or critter right there underneath this overhang and if we zoom in on it we can see it's got these strange tentacles some type of plant creature who knows what this is uh, but i found something that looks very very similar to this and uh, it's from sol 1267 and this is also from a high-rise color photograph and uh, Curiosity Rover was in this location over here and also you can see the path that was traversed so these were taken uh, from Sol 710 a couple of uh, Sols later way down here near Nalcliffe Plateau I hope I've pronounced that correctly and uh, let's move the inset to the middle of the screen and also you can use the scale indicator over here to give you an idea of uh, how small or large these anomalies are there's the item right there so one of these strange orange colored critters or plants I don't know what these things are and uh, also sticks out like a sore finger nothing else like it in this photograph either and uh, as i say i guesstimate this to be less than a half a meter across now let's zoom in on it and uh, unfortunately it breaks up a bit it also looks like a strange blob of something maybe it's organic in nature who knows there they are side by side you can see they've got the same orangey color to them this one here looks slightly more like an octopus that's uh, got its tentacles spread out in front of it over there and this one over here almost like a crab or an octopus with its tentacles spread out around its body who knows what these things are crabs, uh, little animals, plant life. Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on these. I'm sure you haven't seen uh, these two compared to one another before. Do let me know if you have and uh, what the findings of that researcher and uh, the researchers, viewers and subset about those. Let's have a look at Sol 710 and this is a gigapan done by Todd from What's Up in the Sky 
and uh, the area we interested in is right here near this ridge line and uh, we're zooming in on uh, the location of that strange orange critter as I'd like to call it. You can see it's quite a distance off underneath this overhang in the shade and uh, if you look at the vast distance I reckon uh, that can't be too big so let's go over to Sol 1267 and this one was done by Terraform Mars Neil Spence he's also done some great uh, gigapans for us in the past and uh, I think continues to do so today so this is the area of the photograph we're zooming in on and uh, there's that strange orange blob basking there in the sun so check that out it also looks as if it's got uh, little tentacles or I don't know like little legs or something maybe these are spiders I don't know check out those little segments over there those have got two dark eyes I don't know I've got no clue what these things could be so thanks Todd and uh, Neil great gigapans as well do check these out see if you can find any more anomalies I'm not concentrating on any others except these so ladies and gents that's it for this one I do appreciate your viewership and support and if you'd like to contribute or donate to my research and work to cover overheads, you're welcome to do so over on PayPal and Patreon. You can find the links to those two platforms in the video description below. Very kind if you do, thank you. And then remember, if you subscribe, to hit the notifications bell. So do let me know in the comments below your opinions and thoughts about these anomalies we just checked out. I'll be back soon with more Mars and Space News. Until then, keep well. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.